Carrollton Warehouse may be modest, but the name is not. Southern Champion is about who they are and where they're going. Everyone who works for her agrees it's merely Kick, the strong, brassy company creator who will take them there. The revenue is expected to top $25 million this year, but in 2010, things were different. I was kind of in the throes of almost getting a divorce and I was worried about living under a bridge and not having any money and two kids to raise. Marilee was teaching at Plano West High School, but needed a kick. She got it when the district offered to pay for her master's degree. Her thesis idea would become her safety net, her creation and career. Buzz balls. I was grading the papers and I thought she, I shouldn't have a, a glass cocktail glass out here by the pool and I had a round votive candle from Sweden when I lived there and it was a round ball. And I thought, wouldn't that be cool to have a party ball? Up to 20% alcohol provides the buzz in the 200 milliliter plastic ball. It was a tough launch. Kick, still not certain her marriage would last either. I had nothing. You know, we were selling our house, moving into a new house, and he found out that um, I was starting this business because I kept it a secret for him from, from six months. I didn't tell him. She was secretly stashing away money for her buzz ball escape plan, and she heard no a lot. I met Marilee back in 2009 when I was working for Glaziers at the time, which is a big wholesaler here in, in Dallas, and uh, she brought me this crazy concept this ball. Blair was the only one that would return my calls and he would he listened to me and told me no a couple of times but then he finally relented and came back and said okay I'll I'll take it on and as a test market in Dallas. And I was just looking at her going well, what is this and we, we giggled and laughed and she said that I said no like three times but I finally said yes and brought her in to you know to Glaciers about 38,000 cases later here we go. It'll be 700,000 cases of buzz balls this year with names like Lotta Colada, Chalk Teas, and Forbidden Apple. And Blair Casey has joined the team. The runway is long for us, and we haven't even gotten started yet, you know, and where we want to go. So lots of fun stuff coming. This can fill 1,500 buzz balls every minute. It can go super fast. It's a relatively small group of employees, small enough that if one of them gets a flat tire at lunch and can't come back, the production date can be lost. So they built a kitchen, hired a chef, and now the employees eat for free every day with a different menu and are there when the machines need to run. They helped build this, so I think they feel a part of it. The decor of the building is colorful. They say they have a lot of fun. It's a fun family feel. And many are family. Merrily Kick's sons, Alex and Andrew, are company president and vice president. I think as I'm getting older, it's starting to sink in a little bit more. You know, at the time uh, when, this was, when this was happening, I was still in high school. So um, it was a really cool thing for me to do. I was working in the warehouse after school and things like that, but didn't really understand the magnitude of what she was doing, you know, as um, you know, a personal choice for her life, for, for our lives as her children. It's just incredible the more I think about it now as I'm older, the, the leap of faith that she took and um, the resiliency that she, she went through um, to get to where we are today. It's awesome. Kick and Southern Champion have just moved into distilled spirits, rum, gin, vodka, and bourbon, a decidedly male-dominated arena. But I think you get an idea of Marilee's edge when she tells you she named her Crooked Fox blended bourbon whiskey after a guy who tried to steal her buzzball's idea. Kind of threw us under the bus. That's very crooked. She's proud of the job she's created, takes good care of her employees, vacation, birthdays off, and paid time off between Christmas and New Year. Free of charge, you know, so that they can spend time with their families, because that's what we did when we were teachers. You need that time with your family. I'm not gonna lie, I'm hard on them. I'm hard on me. Um, but, and it's not always gonna be a smooth ride, but we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. How about advice on starting a business? Find something that you really need. Something that you know can make money in good times and bad. Um, something that you know you can rely on and you can bank on. Um, in my case, it was what makes money in good times and bad. I don't want to worry about tech or this or that. Booze, drugs, sex. Two are illegal, you know, so I chose the booze. What you see is what you get. And uh, she holds nothing back and that's what makes her special. And that's why she's 
built this into a you know a 25 million dollar company so it's it's pretty awesome Marilee Kick owns the only woman-owned distillery in the United States she's getting attention and accolades in March she won the enterprising woman of the year award obviously she's unique but I got the feeling she'd rather be found unique for her drive and determination than her feminism because I'm a woman, I, I get these awards because we own the only woman-owned distillery and winery in the U.S. So that's, a, that's big news. You know, a woman can do it. But at the same time, why can't a woman do it? Why would anybody doubt a woman could do it? You know, so it's, it's not that I think that I'm special because I'm a woman. I think I'm special because I work hard, work hard, work hard every day.